The movement you're seeing now is what is known as spidering. This is where athletes learn to work efficiently in the horizontal body positioning in the water. So you're asking your athletes to lie on their stomachs, keeping their bodies compacted as much as possible, moving their legs and their hands at a fast rate. The hands should be sculling and pulling while the legs are working in an egg beater motion. So all four limbs are working together at the same time. You're asking your athletes to keep their chest down and their hips up. The goal here is to have your hips higher than your chest while you're working on this movement. The reason for this is to have the body and the athlete be able to spring into an explosive movement at any given time. These types of explosive movements will include, but not be limited to, helping on a ball side drive, helping at the center position, lunging into a lane of steel, and also learning to play horizontal defense against the wings on the bottom line on defense. This spider movement will then work into going from a horizontal position into that explosive lunge. So to practice this, we will go from our spider movement into a reach lunge. This is a breaststroke kick to a lunge where three limbs are working together. A pull with the hands, a breaststroke kick with the legs, and a reach with the arm for the steal. Athletes should repeat these motions and these movements consistently in practice on a weekly basis. Working efficiently in the horizontal position is going to be crucial in learning how to be a complete water pole player and work on the rest of our movements and our actions in ODP.